cloning involves uh, am amplification of some DNA pieces. So for that, sometimes we need cloning vectors. A cloning vector is uh, basically the small piece of DNA taken from a virus, uh, a plasmid, which is coming from a bacteria, or coming from some other higher organism. And the properties are that it should, uh, it can maintain itself into an organism, and uh, it can take also uh, some foreign genes as an insert in it, and uh, it can it can clone it, it can amplify it, or sometimes it can be used to have the expression of that incoming gene. Here we see, in general, the cloning technique. So we take this foreign DNA. It is coming from a eukaryotic chromosome. So this blue area is where we have this gene of interest. We fragment that DNA containing that gene of interest and then we get some different fragments. So our, remember our interest is this blue. Uh, same way we take some uh, cloning vector like for example in this example we are taking this plasmid and we digest with the same endonuclease. So in this way their ends are similar. I'm not going into the detail of it. Obviously you will cover in some molecular biology or some biotechnology courses. But let's have a general idea. So we digest with the same enzyme and then we put them together. So in this way, the probability is that this gene of interest will go into the plasmid. Obviously, the other pieces, they will go. And sometimes the plasmids, they can circularize by themselves with no gene of interest. So there are some screening techniques that help us to select the true plasmids which are containing those genes of interest. So in this way, uh, we say that we have cloned that gene of interest into this uh, cloning vector. So we have seen that uh, partial digest from the uh, same or the compatible uh, enzyme uh, produces uh, the fragments uh, which can be uh, ligated together. So um, we can clone the entire genomes or we can sometimes uh, we, we can have the chromosomes parts uh, coming in, in a clone. Uh, there are different types of cloning vectors. Um, for example, lambda phages, uh, they are derived from obviously from viruses, uh, sizes are 20 to 30 KBs. Cosmids, they can take up to 35 to 45 KBs, good for smaller fragments. For larger fragments, uh, they have uh, genetically engineered uh, chromosomes from yeast, so that uh, can take the large insert size. Here is the example of a yeast artificial chromosome, so we can have some markers which are coming from yeast and we can also have some bacterial parts in it and we can see some restriction sites which are actually the sites where the enzymes they can cut and we can cut the gene of interest with the same enzyme and we can put it there. Bacterial artificial chromosomes they can take 100 to 30, uh, 300 KB insert size uh, made up of the S F plasmids and originally they were used to transfer the bacterial genes. Here is an example of a bacterial artificial chromosomes or BACs. We can see different enzymes like their restriction sites are there. For example, we see this ECOR1 site is there. Uh, we see BAMH1. We also see the origin of replication. So in bacteria where the replications they start, so we have a, this is an important region. Uh, we can also see the antibiotic selection genes which are there. So that helps in screening. So uh, if we have a clones, a set of clones and uh, they are kind of overlapping on one another, so we can have a set of partially overlapping clones. Uh, we can call them contacts. So the first physical map of the human genome uh, involved contacts which were generated by X. So we'll talk about human genome project. So we will see these things again over there. So here is just a conceptual representation of the context. So where we can see there are different clones coming from different yaks, yeast artificial chromosomes. So we have this coming from yak one, the clone from yak two, and then obviously they have overlapping regions. So in this way, we can put them together. And the big thing we get in the end is, we call it as contic. So we see that uh, different uh, improvements in the cloning strategies, uh, they are crucial for uh, making the room for genome sequencing.